Hey designers, in this video, we're diving into creating this animation in After Effects. It's a simple, step-by-step -step tutorial, so stay tuned and let's jump right in. First, open After Effects and select the Ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse in your composition and make sure it's perfectly centered both vertically and horizontally. If the anchor point isn't centered, you can quickly fix this by double-clicking the anchor point tool while holding the control key. Next, give your circle a white stroke. Duplicate this circle by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Press S for scale and scale down this duplicated circle a bit. Again, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D and scale it down as well. Repeat the duplication and scaling process. Once more, duplicate the layer and scale it down. For the smallest circle, decrease the stroke width. Do the same for the second circle. Now, for the third circle, which is in the center, change the stroke color to yellow and increase the stroke width. To make this circle dotted, go to its properties, contents, ellipse 1, stroke 1. Here, find the dashes option. Click the plus button next to dashes and increase the dash value. Close the properties, then select the smallest circle and fill it with a green color. Press OK to apply the color. Now, select all the circles and make them 3D. Create a new null object by going to Layer New Null Object. Parent all the circle layers to this null and make the null object 3D as well. Finally, select the null object, press R for rotation, and set the X rotation value to minus 73. Adjust the position using the orbit around cursor tool, pan under cursor tool, and dolly towards cursor tool. These will help you place and fine-tune your composition. Position it in the center, zoom in, and give it a slight rotation as desired. Once you're happy with the placement, set the X rotation to minus 70. Next, click on the stopwatch next to Z rotation while holding Alt. Enter the expression, time asterisk minus 10. Preview the animation to see the effect. Now, import the Bike Rider image into After Effects. Drag it onto the timeline and scale it down. Adjust its position to fit on the road. Adjust the Bike Rider's position as needed. Select the Bike Rider PNG, press R for rotation, and click the stopwatch next to rotation. Move to the 2 second mark and set the rotation value to minus 10, or your preferred value. Add a looping effect by clicking the stopwatch next to rotation while holding Alt enter the expression loop out, brackets and then quotation marks, inside right ping pong. Preview the animation to ensure it looks good. Adjust the bike rider's position as needed. Go to Layer, New, and make a new solid for the background. Give it a sky blue color. Move this layer below all the other layers. Make sure no layer is selected. Take the pen tool and start drawing the building lines. 
Make it till the very end, and in fact, make it after the composition ends, like keep on making it for a bit. After that, select this layer, press P for position, first of all, move this shape all the way to the right till it starts, and then click on the stopwatch next to position, and move the bar indicator to 14 seconds frame, and now move it all the way to the left side. Now move this layer below all the other layers above the solid layer. Preview the animation. Once satisfied, your animation is complete. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs for more tips and tutorials.